It's time for the apps that make you wonder why. You know how you're often looking for more respect? Well, the 99 cent app Respect My Authority has finally found a way to earn some. Essentially, the app gives you a badge that tells people to respect your authority. This, when used in conjunction with any Star Trek uniform, will certainly bring you the level of importance you've always dreamed of. Next up, free and for the Android, comes a timeless classic, My Name Is. You know it's from awkward off-site meetings and conventions where you wear a fill-in-the-blank name tag that says, hello, my name is? Now, if you can somehow figure out a way to wear your phone, you can walk around wearing a digital one of these all of the time. You'll save yourself valuable seconds it takes to print off your name with a jiffy marker and rest your vocal cords by never having to introduce yourself ever again. Genius. After the break, we show you how you can bring your drawings to life and then turn them into a game. And if you're planning any sort of assault on fortified castles in your area, you'll want to stay tuned to see the latest strategies offered for medieval warfare. And who isn't doing that this weekend? Um, I think most of us. All that and more when App TV returns. Welcome back. There will be blood, there will be guts, and there will be you taking out your frustrations and blasting everything you see on screen in these apps. Here are our Hot 5 Shoot 'em Up game apps. First out of the chamber is Mini Gore, a survival shooter that features dual stick controls for movement. Mini Gore is a highly addictive, good looking game. The goal is simple to try to shoot as many furies as you can while trying to stay alive. Sounds like an average day at the office, really. Next, Gunner Galaxies. Space was never so dangerous until you got there and started shooting it all to pieces. Asteroids, asteroids, asteroids are coming at you like there's no tomorrow, and if you don't destroy them, there might not be. Next, we have Cartoon Wars Gunner. It may look like a stick man, but it's also a heavily armed stick man. Run around the screen and blow away as many enemies as possible. There are 11 different types of weapons to use, like flamethrowers and even mech suits, you know, for the more formal occasions. You'll never look at stick men in the same way again. Draw, we're on to Wild West guns. Remember those carnival shooting games? Well, you can test your precision and speed by shooting targets or anything that moves as fast as you can. The game takes advantage of the iPhone's multi-touch display, so your fingers are your guns. Where your finger touches is where the bullet goes, and you can aim at targets that range from tin cans to people. And at last, we have Nova 2 Near Orbit Vanguard Alliance. Based on the popular Halo series, Nova has you shooting aliens, running through corridors, and killing enemies in this first-person shooter. Single-player mode is only half of the experience. You can actually play multiplayer mode with up to 10 players. Packed with maps, terrains, and gun-crazed action, it's just good, clean, heavily armed fun. BlackBerry 6 features a Facebook application that's sure to impress. Follow these steps and you'll be online in no time. We'll start on the home screen. Select the All tab, followed by the Facebook icon. After typing your email and password, push Enter to complete the login process. By default, your Facebook app will open on the News Feed screen. This page is represented by a newspaper-shaped icon located on the far left of the button bar at the top of your screen. You can return to the screen at any time by selecting this icon. To the right of your profile picture, you'll find a text window. Here you can enter status updates. Once you've finished typing your entry, click Share. Next, let's look at your notification screen. It can be accessed by selecting the signpost-shaped icon. It's located second from the left on your button bar. A chronological list of notifications will now appear. Selecting one of them will open that item's full message. To add a picture to your profile, select the camera-shaped icon. It can be found third from the left in the button bar at the top of your screen. Browse through your galleries until you've located the image you'd like to upload. Once you've selected it, you'll be prompted to enter a caption. Once this step is completed, select the album field and choose the Facebook gallery where you'd like this image to appear. To finish this process, press the tab labeled Upload. In order to create a wall post, you'll need to locate the wall icon located in the button bar at the top of your screen. It's green and it's shaped like a pair of quotation marks. Selecting it will reveal a pair of fields. Enter your recipient in the Select Friend field and then enter your message in the text field below. Pushing the Post button will finalize this process. Good job! You've just covered the basic functions of your Facebook application.
as our phones and tablets evolve with fancy features like accelerometers, gyroscopes, and other big words, gaming apps are becoming more powerful and innovative. Here are some of our choices for apps that awe and inspire. First up, we draw our way into some trouble with Sketch Nation Shooter, an app that lets you design your very own 2D virtual shooter game. The only limitation here is your own imagination. When you open up this app, you're brought to a very basic menu. You have a few options, which we'll cover in a moment, but the place to start here is Create. Design your player by selecting an art piece from one of the preloaded art packs, or use an image that you've drawn or taken a picture of. The sky is really the limit here, so this is your chance to be really creative. From there, build player and enemy graphics, set hit points, weapons, and effects. You can also place power-ups and select from 10 different pieces of music to set the scene. And no, before you ask, the Top Gun theme isn't in here. If you don't like the backdrops offered, import your own. If designing is not your cup of tea, check out some games that others have created by clicking on either the play button or the download button from the main menu. You can even upload your own games and share them through the Sketch Nation network. Other players will be able to play and rate them and you'll be able to do the same. Last up is Contact George Pro. You know how people always seem to interrupt you at the worst possible time? Well, here's a game that lets you do that to someone else. George to be exact. Best described as the Truman Show meets The Sims, you can contact George at any point in time during his day. Slap, tickle, shake George, or even rig items to make his life miserable. Each time you interact with George, a video clip will play showing his reaction. You can monitor his anger levels, blood pressure, and even distress him by giving him gifts like bags of money. This isn't exactly your typical game. You'll either love it or think it's kind of creepy, but you can't say you've really seen a game like this before. So, whether it's enhancing a basic game, bringing a classic to an app in a surreal way, or, well, a voyeuristic interaction with the character, this is just a glimpse of what the future of gaming apps have in store for us. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go tickle George. It's almost game over here, but before we end it off, we've got a look at one last gaming app. It's called Siege Hero, a cartoon puzzle game where you launch rocks, fire, and bombs to bring the castles you're attacking to the ground. Each castle has to be hit in the right area to solve the puzzle and kill the bad guys. Well, there's a limited amount of ammo available, so take aim before you fire. And that, my friends, is Game Set and Match. Thanks for joining us here on App TV. We'll see you next time. App TV is brought to you by TELUS.